welcome to my channel. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I am going to show you just quickly how I prep my canvas, putting the uh, paint on the edges uh, to make it tacky. Uh, the consistency here is of my base paint is it sinks immediately. And then here's the recipe that I used for the pearl cell base coat. So the base coat is the only paint that gets satin enamel in it. Now this is the pour over uh, Dutch pour puddle paint recipe that I use. And again, the consistency is very thin. It sinks immediately. So today I am going to give you a twofer. And the reason being is that I made a mistake and I used a metallic as my pour over paint in this one, which I love the color. That's why I chose it. And I wasn't really thinking about what I was uh, doing when I mixed up this paint. Um, but if you are uh, do, do pearl um, paintings, you'll know that metallics don't really pearl that well. And the reason being is that metallics are usually light in density. So because of that, they will actually float to the top. And then the pour over colors or a color that's, that's heavier in density will sink. And that's what causes the pearls and the lacing to happen. Well, I didn't think about that. And I used my satin enamel base coat, which is light in density. And then I used a pour over color that's also light in density. So they kind of canceled each other out and the pearls or these these kind of dots that that popped up uh, were not true pearls so i decided that i would finish this one out because I, as i was watching it i was thinking well maybe maybe they'll continue to process and uh, i will get some pearls but it just kind of that never did happen so I, I did finish this one out um and I fiddled with this one so much. You guys, you guys know me. If you watch my channel, you know that I fiddle with my paintings a lot. Because if I don't like a composition or I don't like the way something looks, I don't normally just leave it. I feel like I need to be happy with the paintings or the product that I'm putting out. And, um, you know, I had someone comment recently that, oh, you know, you should take a picture. If it's a commission, you should take a picture and send it before you do all this other stuff. But, you know, honestly, if I'm not happy with a painting, I, I don't really want to put it out. I don't really even want a customer to see um, that, you know, that painting until I feel comfortable with it, you know. And so, um, because ultimately is my it's my name and it's uh my you know design so i want i want to uh be proud of the product that i put out so anyways that's why i fiddle with my painting so much and i hope you guys are okay with that because i know sometimes i do watch these videos back and i think oh why didn't i not why didn't i stop there why did I keep going? But, you know, honestly, I, I am, you know, I, I want to be happy with my product that I'm putting out and in my painting. So anyways, kind of off on a little tangent there, but I did want to explain that a little bit because I do, if you guys, you guys are regular watchers, you know that I do, I'm usually not just kind of the blowout person that, that blows a few petals and it, I'm done. I I will kind of fiddle with my paintings quite a bit. So anyway, you see, I am not happy with this. So I was going to scrape it, but then I just decided I would blow the paint off. Um, I needed to get some of that paint off so that uh, I didn't have so much paint on there that it would dry badly. So I decided just to blow the paint off and start again from scratch, which I'm glad I did because it did turn out really pretty. So I'm going to let you guys uh, watch me blow this out. Um, I will come back in in just a minute to show you the wet results and explain um, what happened. Mm -hmm. 
wet results for this you'll see on the the pink part there were very few cell uh, pearls in this part I got a few pearls uh, that popped through that base coat that was still underneath of this I love those those cells right there that is the Victoria's muscadine wine from Christina Welsh her um, her porridge posse paints and um, I'm not sure about the paint densities of, of her paints but I did notice that in this one and the my favorite color right now is her knockoff uh, it they must be lighter in density because uh, they float to the top really pretty and make really pretty um, lacing and uh, and cells so that was uh, try number one. So this is try number two. Um, I'm using all the same colors ex and same recipes, except for this custom blush color is a very similar color to that other one, but it has no metallics in it. <laughs> so I had a canvas already prepped and I decided I had some extra paints uh, from this pour so I decided I would try it again and see if see what happens so I figured that this would be a really good um, example uh, to show you guys uh, the difference between a metallic pour over and a opaque or or uh, a pour over color that does not have uh, any metallics in it uh, a little heavier uh, paint so uh, I am going to let you guys watch the rest of this I do fiddle with it a little bit of course like I normally do also just to show you you guys this I wanted to keep this at a regular rate um, of speed I do speed up a lot of this but I wanted to show you how I tilt um, so if you're having issues with not getting pearls, you got to do some extreme tilting to get a lot of that base coat off as well as the, the top coat. So, and then if you, you tilt in one direction, you have to tilt back the other direction to get the paint back to center. So anyways, um, I hope you uh, enjoy this. I will pop back in at the end because I will show you the dry results of these next to each other and explain uh, a little bit more. But um, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. Um, there are other ways to support in the description box if you feel so inclined. Um, and I really like to hear what you guys have to say. Love to, to read your comments. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer uh, any questions that you may have. I do read and reply to every single comment. So, okay, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys, and thank you again, and I will pop back in at the end. Enjoy.
Okay, so here are the true pearls. Look at those. They are puffy and beautiful. They turned out really, really well. Um, I did get some pearls in the Dutch pour portion, which I, I don't love getting a lot of pearls in that Dutch pour portion, but um, I do like some. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Uh, it's a really cute little painting. I think it's an 11 by 14 uh, that I had uh, already prepped. So uh, that lacing, see that little pearl? I love that one. <laughs> I think that's why I zoomed in on it. Okay, so I am going to show the rest of this and then um, see again that lacing with that Victoria's Muscadine lime. Beautiful porch posse paint. Uh, so there they are, those puffy pearl, pearls again. Okay, so I am going to move on now to the dry results of both of these. Okay, so this is what how it dried and you see the difference between those pearls there and these pearls here. These are not really pearls. Um, it looks like they're trying to be, but uh, because it was a metallic paint over top of a uh, satin enamel base coat, their densities were too similar, so the pearls couldn't really pop through. Uh, so this is, this is the difference. You see those really puffy, beautiful pearls. Um, coming through that lacing is so pretty and yeah I am really happy with how this one turned out and I'm happy that it wasn't my recipe that was messed up it was just me um, not really thinking things through so again thank you for being here you guys have a great day